All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. And today we're going to be looking at a cheapie that punches above its weight. And that cheapie is John Mark Ohm Noir. So this fragrance is something I picked up at TJ Maxx for $12.99. Um, and it says it regularly retails at $20. I could see that. Um, right off the bat, I'll say it is worth the $15. It comes in this box, which is just a pretty basic cardboard box, but it does have some texturing on it to where it is kind of smooth and a little bit grippy. The cap is pretty cheap, and I will. one of the complaints that I do have about this fragrance is a lot of times when I'm putting the cap on, if it's not aligned perfectly, it will activate the atomizer. And I've had several accidental sprays. Um, it's a cheaper fragrance, so I don't mind that, but this is the bottle, pretty straightforward. Obviously on cheapies, the presentation is really not going to be that great. This cap is pretty light, pretty cheap, but I wanna talk about this fragrance because there is not, there are not many reviews of this online. So this is a Frugier Woody fragrance. And for me, if I were to describe this fragrance, I would say this is a smooth, sweet, and alluring fragrance or cologne, or I would say this is a smooth, sweet, and seductive fragrance. Because a lot of times with cheap fragrances, especially ones that you find at discounters that are $15 and under, outside of pretty much English Laundry, they're pretty much usually, in my opinion, just light, uh, fresh fragrances that don't last very long, that are basically the equivalent of shower gel. So they're usually like shower gel equivalents, or, linear syrupy sweet basic fragrances with not very many notes or much complexity and this one's not super complex but this is not a super basic fragrance so if you are wearing this somebody wouldn't say oh man this smells really cheap um i really like that about this fragrance that it does have an alluring and kind of seductive quality to me it leans more it's not a fresh fragrance to me so this is a sweet fragrance, but it's not syrupy sweet. It's not a basic linear sweet. Um, it does have several notes that you can pick up. Um, the sprayer, it's, it's okay. I would say this is above average for a, a cheapie that costs like $15 to $20. And that's probably about all that I would pay for this. I know it retails for $40 or $50, but I've seen this around enough that I would pick this up for 15 to 20 in the States at least. It smells like a fragrance that could cost 40, 50, 60 dollars in my opinion. Rating this fragrance, before I get into the notes, I would give this probably a 6.5 or 6.7. Now if I were grading on the curve of cheapies, I would say this is an 8 or an 8.2. I'll get into some of the notes. So like I said, this is a Frugier woody fragrance, but the top notes are bergamot, grapefruit, cardamom. Middle notes are lavender, honey, orange blossom musk, and the uh, base is sweet tobacco, tonka bean, and moss. Like when I spray this fragrance, at first I didn't smell the grapefruit at all. It's blended very well. So that you really have to take your time to kind of pick out the notes. But um, I can definitely smell the bergamot and the grapefruit. And I feel like the grapefruit is kind of hidden amongst the honey the orange blossom, sweet tobacco, tonka bean, and moss. The strongest notes to me are the tonka bean, sweet tobacco, honey, and orange blossom musk. And I really like that about this fragrance. Um, one of the fragrances that I used to like back in the day was Jovan Musk. And this kind of has a sweet tone in it like that, but it's a little bit richer and more complex and it doesn't evaporate as soon as you put it on your skin. I would say this will probably last three to four hours on you and it'll probably project for, I don't know, an hour, an hour, 15. It's not going to be a projection beast um, because it is sweet and it doesn't really have a strong citrus blast to get out there when you initially spray it on. So I would say you would have a moderate sillage for probably an hour to an hour and a half and then it were closer to you, you know, up until four hours and you'd have to reapply. I would probably get this for, you know, again, 15 to $20, preferably 15, but if I was out somewhere and I needed just a dumb grab, I would pay $20 for this because it's gonna be relatively inoffensive um, and it would smell good on a lot of different uh, body types and skin types, in my opinion. 
as far as where I would wear this fragrance, I mean, I would feel confident wearing this on a date. Like I said, unlike a ton of, you know, cheapies out there, this has an alluring and a seductive quality to it. Um, with that honey and the tonka bean and that orange blossom musk, those really go well together combined with the sweet tobacco. Um, the sweet tobacco kind of hides a little bit um, in there, but you can definitely tell it's there. And I love that note because it is a bit softer because it's sweet, but at the same time it's masculine because it is tobacco. So I like that and I think I don't incorporate enough scents with tobacco in my collection. You know, a lot of fragrances in the dry down, they do have tonka bean. That is a masculine smell, a uh, masculine note, but that sweet tobacco really sets this off. I don't really pick up too much on the moss. This wouldn't be like a morning breakfast fragrance. Um, because it doesn't smell cheap like an aftershave. So it's like, what are you doing wearing something seductive and a little bit sultry <laughs> to hash browns and eggs? But I would feel confident wearing this to lunch. I would wear this to on a date, um, you know, some kind of evening outing. You can wear this during the day. Um, I think during the dry down, it doesn't project as much. So it, it wouldn't smell like you're trying hard, even though it is a little seductive. Somebody would be like, ooh, you know, you smell sweet, you smell good, but in a subtle way, that can pass at lunchtime, around noon, that kind of thing. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this on like an airplane or if I was in super cramp, a super cramped space. With the seductive, alluring nature of it, I would save it for just evening occasions and um, lunch, but not close quarters. And it does have lavender in it, so you can pick up on the lavender, and I think that also gives it a lighter feel so it's not a you know wanted by night or kind of a spice bomb type situation the lavender kind of makes it a bit lighter to where it can carry through lunch um, and just not be you know solely relegated to winter or fall i mean you could wear this in the summer and spring for me i'm going to wear this in the fall and in the spring um i I don't like wearing, you know, musky fragrances with tobacco in the summer. Um, taco bean, yes, if it's in a, a fresh fragrance with some maybe citrus notes. Anyway, this is a great, great cheapie. Uh, I would highly recommend picking this up. And I will say, if you're into English Laundry, I would pick this up over English Laundry Riviera. Riviera is definitely lighter and a bit more versatile than this fragrance you know, because this does have the musk and the tobacco, but it does not last. I mean, that fragrance, you put it on and an hour later, it disappears. For an ordinary guy, you could wear this with a button up, you can wear this with a tie, you could wear this with a suit. Just don't overdo it and you'll be fine. Like I said, the lavender, you know, kind of elevates it a little bit to where, you know, it's not as heavy. And, and not as simplistic, like you just spray it on a bunch of aftershave musk. And then the grapefruit, and then that orange blossom musk just blend well together um, and give it like a, a, a mid-weight kind of feel. So again, it's not fresh, it's not spicy, um, but it's definitely alluring. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.